Don't be like, I'm saving it for the next event. Girl, the event is today. Live your life like it's that event. Hey beautifuls, it's your girl Adora and you're watching Aura of Adora. For today's episode, I'm gonna be giving y'all some tips and tricks on how to build a timeless, effortless wardrobe that'll last you for years to come. Let's get it. If you're new here, welcome in, join the Auras. And if you're returning, welcome back to my channel. Hey, back to my channel. Let me know if you're messing with the makeup. I did a little beat. <laughs> early morning ting. <laughs> this year is all about intentionality and being more in tune with your wardrobes, having budgets, and honestly having proper spending habits. In order to build a timeless wardrobe, we first need to do the most important thing. We need to get rid of clothes that no longer serve us. Long are the days of buying things just because others are buying them, buying things because they are trending. We need to go into our wardrobes. Look at that shirt you haven't worn in a couple of months, weeks, and girl, don't let it be years. But if it is, it's okay. The clothes that you no longer wear, you need to get rid of them. We need to make space for the new in our life. How are we gonna make space for the new if you got all that old, old, okay? If you haven't worn it in about three months, that's my rule of thumb. Three months, four months, just get rid of it. Don't be like, I'm saving it for the next event, girl. The event is today. Live your life like it's that event. Another really good tip, you got to start with the basics and build your way up. I love shopping for high quality basics because that makes me feel like I'm really investing in myself. I know a couple of good websites. Source Unknown is very good for basics. Her Gap is very good for basics. I feel like it's really important to just take your time Go through the material, the quality of the clothes. Get a feel for it. If the shirt is thick, you know it's gonna last you a cool little minute, babes. Like, I really feel like building up your basics as the foundation for your wardrobe will really make you pop out, look cute, feel good, and also have your outfits last with the style and last with the season. Some tips that I use when I want to build my wardrobe is looking for inspiration in your everyday. You can go outside, see how people in your city dress, see how people in your state dress. If you have influencers or fashion girlies or celebrities that inspire you, go onto their Instagram, go look at their recent runway carpet looks. It's really easy to find the beauty and to find inspiration in everyday things that you can apply to your own wardrobe. And yes, you might not have the budget of Kylie Jenner or the budget of Beyonce, but you can you can do a little lookalike outfit with what you have around you. And I feel like that's what's really important because it helps you to build your style. You're able to see what matches your body, what complements your frame, and what doesn't at a good affordable cost. Life is all about trial and error and fashion is all about trial and error. It takes years to find your style and I'm here to help you. We're on this journey together. So I feel like looking for inspiration in your everyday can really bring your outfit like this, like level, 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 level up, okay. But yes, kind of adding on to what I just said about looking for things that complement your body, your style, your taste. And that's my next bit of advice. Look for things that complement your frame. I know for my body, certain things won't really look good on me. High rise jeans don't look that good on me. I look, I look, I look compressed. However, low rise jeans, things that maybe like full body shirts. I used to love wearing crop tops until I realized the crop was not loving me. I needed to wear some shirts that was really complimenting how my torso is to really elongate my body. I feel like my body proportions, you know, it's kind of like makeup. How if you contour your nose too narrow, your nose is gonna look like this. Or if you contour it too wide, it's all about the illusion. I feel like style and shaping and frames, it's all about the illusion and how it kind of meshes together with your body. So all in all, look for things that complement your body type, make you accentuate features that you love, things that you wanna hide, that's okay. Don't put it on the forefront. If you don't wanna show off your arms too much, don't wear sleeveless. You know, but it also kind of hones in on finding your personal preference, finding what you like and what's suited for you. For you, babes. Lastly, this one is the most important because it also affects the universe, the planet, 
but I say look for quality materials and also read about how they affect the planet. Different materials can last for different years, different months, and they also have different purposes. I know that some clothes can also have like plastics in them. Sometimes when you wear mesh shirts, you might be like, why am I sweating all the time? Because the material is not breathable. It's not letting you have air, it's reconstricting. When you search up those materials and search up how they affect the planet, you can also look up and gain more insight on how it affects your body. Because I feel like now that we're progressing towards a society of overconsumption, capitalism, we are finding a lot of low quality materials in our clothing. And it really affects our bodies and the planet as well. If we do more research, we can thrift more, find sustainable clothing outlets to get our pieces from. Because as much as I love shopping, I also love the earth and I love living long. So if I'm gonna die for these clothes, I'm not gonna die for no clothes. <laughs> So we need to look into what is really going on with fashion products. Am I preaching? Are you hearing me? Are you hearing me? All in all, I want to say have fun on this journey of finding things to add to your closet. I really feel like when you feel good, you dress good, you look good, you do good. Put that effort into your closet because it'll surely reflect in your everyday. When you are dressed like a baddie, you feel like a baddie, babes. You are a baddie to the core. Don't let nobody tell you different. I just want to inspire you, empower you to go out, try those things, elevate yourself. We got this, I got you. Thank you so much for watching my video. Getting to the end, you are a real one. I mess with you, you are the coolest. If you're rocking with this video, leave a like, a comment, subscribe. Subscribe if you're messing with my vibe. If you want to join the auras, yeah. If not, it's okay. I'll catch you on the next video. Lots of love and see y'all soon. Peace.